yes, ladies and gentlemen, I finally have it. The figure I've always wanted. A Jeff Bezos action figure. Money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the... Sorry, wrong bald billionaire. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Lex Luthor action figure, but first, here's a little reminder for y'all to please leave a like, subscribe, and of course turn on those post notifications so you'll always be notified when I post a new video. I just want to say thank you to anyone who watches my videos, but let's get right into the review. To me, this release is very strong, just like Lex Luthor's jaw. Quickly sticking him into some mood lighting. Hope you like my new lights, by the way. I just got them from Amazon. I really like the vibe that they give off, you know? It feels really good to get some villains that aren't Batman villains from McFarlane Toys. We've been needing a Lex Luthor for a very long time, and this is right up his alley with all the sculpted detail and mechanized parts on this figure. Spinning this figure around, you can actually see that it's not a perfect quote-unquote sculpt. There's a lot of scratches, damage from past battles, maybe with Superman, most likely with Superman, and it's not a pristine metal suit. Moving down the legs, you can see a bunch of different panels and textures, as well as a little bit of marbling along the calf area. Me personally, I like the look of that, so I don't mind. Now I will say, however, it does feel like there's a little bit of lack of paint in the lower part of the body. It's just solid green throughout most of it, and it could really use a black wash. A lot of McFarlane figures could use that. Now either Lex Luthor has a birthmark that I've never known about, or there is a little bit of a paint defect on the back of the neck. There's a couple places on the armor that are actually a lighter plastic, meaning they can just bend out of the way if you need them to. I think it's pretty funny how Superman and Batman's main villains both have a purple and green color scheme. Taking a look at both of his accessories besides the stand, we have some alternate hands, which is actually a very welcome thing to see from McFarlane toys. They're very nice. And here's the tried and true stand. Here's your second reminder to please leave a like, subscribe, and of course turn on those post notifications so you know whenever I post a video. Thank you! The devils don't come from hell beneath us, no. They come from the sky. Now here's some of the comparisons you've been waiting for. We got on the left the McFarlane Toys DC Comics 1000 Superman, and on the right we have the Zack Snyder Justice League Superman. Though we got Bizarro on the left and Thomas Wayne about that life on the right. Hey Lex, you better put a helmet on because Thomas Wayne's coming for that head. Sticking with McFarlane toys though, we have the Gunslinger spawn on the left and the Mortal Kombat spawn on the right, and these scale pretty well together. Sorry, I spent a good time in college trying to suppress my country accent so it comes out from time to time. Moving over to the Marvel Universe, we have two Iron Man figures from Marvel Legends, some more armored figures to compare them with. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know these guys are going to show up in the height comparison section. And one of these two might look familiar as well. On the right, we have the NECA City Hunter Predator, not the Ultimate version. And on the left, we have the Hulkbuster Iron Man from Toy Biz. 
Okay, who would win in a fight? Lex Luthor or Iron Man? Go, down in the comments. Boom. And because I just finally finished the campaign for Cyberpunk 2077, here is Johnny Silverhand from McFarlane Toys. Overall, I think this is a great Lex Luthor figure. It's about time we got some more villains that aren't Batman villains in this line. He photographs really well. Could have used some more paint, some silvers, maybe some here and there. He definitely needs a black wash, so if you're up for that, go for it. I think this is a must-have if you love DC figures, and if you love Superman, you gotta have your Lex Luthor. But thank you so much for watching. If you could please, once again, leave a comment, a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, all that stuff. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there.